So welcome to day one of Paper World Middle East 2019, the region's largest international trade fair for stationary paper and office supplies. 305 exhibitors from 42 countries are here at the Dubai World Trade Center and a Portuguese company, the Navigator Company, is one of the world's leading manufacturers of paper and I'm here with Antonio Suarez, the marketing director of Navigator Company. Antonio, thank you very much for being with us today. Um, first of all, you have been a long-time exhibitor at uh, Paper World Middle East. Um, what are you showcasing here this week? Hi, uh, thank you for this opportunity. It's very, very, for us, very interesting to be here because this is a market with very good opportunities. Uh, we have been showcasing here for uh, six years in a row. Uh, we are very satisfied uh, with the results because we are, during this phase, been witnessing and been uh, been shown in the market an increased interest uh, from our customer base here in the Middle East and also for the region it serves because naturally this is a platform to show uh, to different uh, countries and customers not only in Middle East but also parts of Africa and Asia as well. And of course um, what it's quite an interesting. I probably have one of the best stands here at Paper World Middle East this year. Uh, very, very cool looking stands. But um, let's talk about the, uh, the production process and, and your paper because you use a, a eucalyptus type tree here. So let's just have a little talk, take us through the sort of the production process. Sure. We, we do think we are quite unique in the world because we do use one species of um, fiber. So the eucalyptus globulus, which is not available in many places in, in the world, actually originally from Australia, close to where you are, yeah. Gareth. And um, we do integrate uh, into the pulp production, uh, the paper production. So we have an integrated process, forest, pulp production, paper production, which guarantees to us a unique consistency of quality. So we have many players in the market who do not really uh, match our consistency of quality because they do source uh, pulp from outside or they do use different species of, of wood. So we are able to match the, one of the most important criteria for the end user, which is a quality which is consistent over time. A navigator quality today is equal to the navigator quality tomorrow. So the trees were well, originally from Australia, as you mentioned, and how long has it been growing in Portugal and why this particular tree? This particular tree is in Portugal for centuries now, uh, 300 years or close to that, and it, it confers to paper uh, very important uh, characteristics, uh, namely, uh, namely three. One is uh, the, the bulk, what we call the bulk, which is the thickness of the paper, then the rigidity of the sheet, so this translates into performance in printing machines, so the paper runs fast with no jams, and then also printing quality. So in all the dimensions which, is, which are critical for an end consumer, I mentioned consistency of quality, but then runability in the paper machines, printability, so good quality printouts, uh, and uh, running fast on the, paper, on the printing machines. These are the most important criteria for the end user and these are the ones that we can uh, supply to, to, to the market. What is the life cycle of the tree uh, from, from when you plant that seed to, I guess, production on the paper itself? Normally the cycle is 12 years in Portugal. It differs a lot in geographies. Brazil has its own characteristics. Parts of Africa have different characteristics. In Iberia, it's more or less 12, 12 years. Okay, so let's go have a look about, uh, at some of the uh, products that you're showcasing here at uh, Paper World Middle East 2019. Uh, as I mentioned before, one of the uh, nicer stands here, uh, quite contemporary looking, um, uh, the Navigator Company, and it always has been quite a, quite a top sort of stand at the show, and um, obviously you, you exhibit at a lot of other paper worlds around the world too, I, I guess, is that right? Sure, sure. Uh, also, we have been present also in Frankfurt uh, this year, so uh, a, f a few weeks uh, ago, and there, uh, there and also here we are showcasing the new Navigator quality. So Navigator is today the world's best-selling premium office paper in the world, and we did uh, an upgrade on quality, so we keep all the same elements of the previous quality and we add one further feature that allows us to get ex uh, 
extra 40% on improved printing quality when printing in inkjet uh, printers. Inkjet technology is growing more and more in office applications and we have designed this uh, new product uh, which substitutes the, the previous one with this additional feature to run very well in terms of printing quality in uh, inkjet printers. Okay. Um, now we've, we've mentioned about the Middle East and African market uh, before and of course that's why you're here at Paper World Middle East to, to, to reach out to, to distributors and, and end users here. Uh, how large is this market overall for, for the Navigator company on a global basis in terms of you know, percentage of revenue? Sure. As I mentioned, I would include our presence here on the broad uh, business uh, that we have in Middle East and Africa and also covering parts of Asia. So I would say that being here, we are covering 25 to 30 percent of our, of our business. And um, Paperwood Middle East have been here for four, five or six years, I believe. Uh, six years that we have been exhibiting. Have you noticed a sort of a certain sort of uptick, uptick in business or an increase in business since you've been exhibiting the show in this particular region? We do see um, a trend to sell more in these markets. These are markets full of opportunities, so we see them as growing markets. Uh, so yes, there is a correlation between the number of years that we have been here and actually the growth in business. We are actually launching, for instance, the, the multi-office, uh, an Arabic version. So for some markets that we consider uh, served by this, uh, by this platform here, uh, so we are also starting to adequate some of our products to this uh, region as well. All right. um, day one here at Paperwood Middle East 2019, who would you like to meet over the next two days of the show? We do have a couple of uh, meeting rooms over, over here in our stand, and so we are basically meeting all of our current customers uh, in the region. Uh, some of them come from, from nearby. Uh, so we are meeting with merchants, traders, office stationers, uh, so we are meeting with current customers and with potential ones as well. One more question, the, large, the impact of the digitization, the digital world, um, do you foresee a day, one day, when the world will no longer need paper? There is a lot of talk for a, a couple of decades on that, so the, the paperless office has 20 years, that discussion, the fact that it never materialized. The fact is that, is that in Europe over the last 10 years the consumption of office paper is pretty much stable. So what we do see is of course there, there is substitution by electronic media, by digital media, but of course there are new applications, so new uses uh, for papers. When you speak about A4 paper, so what we office paper, um, I would say that uh, more companies, so what you see is that there are more companies coming into the market, mm. uh, smaller ones, mm. but ones that use paper in their creative process, in their collaborative process, in their thinking process, in their, uh, uh, in their uh, business, uh, business um, decisions and then in their business day-to-day. Um, but we do not produce only uh, office paper. Half of our business is papers for graphical applications, which actually we do see thriving. You know, more communication is done by print, uh, printed material. Uh, I would say that the digital communication is, more, is becoming saturated. So more and more companies want to communicate via printed, more personalized uh, materials. And we do see that benefiting paper as well. And there is another element which is also playing a role here, which is the substitution of plastics, which uh, now is, is making obvious that paper is the sustainable solution for most of those uh, applications. I did say one last question, but this is my last question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Middle East and Africa, you mentioned um, obviously it's, it's important markets. Um, what are your future growth plans uh, in terms of revenue growth and also what are the opportunities in terms of uh, uh, potential sectors that you see you, your business might grow in the future uh, in this particular region here? No, we, we are very much focused on our meal brands mm. and on what we call the premium papers, which is the navigator that I showed uh, before. So we are very much keen on continuing that strategy of further penetration on our meal brands, so our own brands, and with premium products. 
So we can do that on the office paper part or on the graphical paper segment as well, as we do see that we have um, big opportunities out there still. Antonio, thank you very much for your time okay. and good luck with the rest of the paper world Middle East. Thank you. There you have it, Antoine, Antonio Suarez, the marketing director of uh, the Navigator Company, um, Paper World Middle East, uh, taking place for the next two days at the Dubai World Trade Center. If you haven't come down, make sure you stop by the uh, Navigator Company stand.